Seoul, South Korea, the birthplace of our great competitive gaming phenomenon. While the world is greatly affected by the COVID-19 lockdown, the home of many eSport titles continues its story. What am I even looking at? Who's winning this game? Uh, I think Protoss is. Really? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. He doesn't have a natural. He doesn't, no, he's, he's remaking it. Well, I guess Sophie doesn't have anything. Sophie really? has 18 supplies. It's fine. Oh, GG. my God. Yeah. A freak of TV brings fans of StarCraft Remastered, the Star League Season 9. 28 methodical players qualified for this Brood Wars tournament. Global masters of the game's three factions, Zerg, Protoss, and Terran. This live event has been over two months in the making, separating the elite from the player pool as they fight for over $65,000 in prize money. The grand final conclusion to the ASL Season 9 is this weekend, a clash of titans that will see one of the most gifted StarCraft South Korean players take his seat among champions. Some good drilling going on right now. If he can just target down each drone, he's fine. There's enough zealots that this is a real, a real threat here. You really have to respect this. But again, drone drills can oh. do wonders here. And now I'm wondering if this is the moment that's going to cost me the game. Oh my god, the sunken doesn't die until the last zealot goes down there. And now there's enough lings out. The Zerg gets map control. Kim Wong Woon, known in the South Korean StarCraft community as Queen, for his outstanding performance with the flying Zerg unit. This exalted Zerg prodigy has been around the pro scene since the late 2000s, both competing in and streaming Brood War content. The 30-year-old superstar advanced out of the round of 24 players group stage of the tournament, only dropping a single game to Terran Master Rush. In the round of 16 group stage, Queen was on fire, slamming Protoss players Bisu and Best for back-to-back -back victories, taking his place among the game's finest in the best of five elimination bracket. This is so important right now. Yeah, because if, this to if, this pro if the Protoss holds on, which is gonna be tough, just looking at this here, but if he holds on, and the, and the DT now will go to the main and kill the, the workers there, Oh, no, he's going to pick off these high tumblers right before Storm Energy. Look at that, 70 energy oh. left over. Queen is highly regarded as one of the best Zerg on Zerg players in the world of Brood Wars. So it was fitting that he took down Busan qualifier Larva in a stunning Game 5 tiebreaker by flooding his base with Zerglings for a five-minute win. Oh, the Spire finishes! The Spire finishes! Oh, no. Oh, no. He might get it. Oh still, my god, but... he still hasn't killed it. He still hasn't killed it. It's at 30 HP. Maybe he won't see that right there. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I think that's my new spire. I'm making it there. Wait, no. GG. His next challenge in the bracket was definitely a big one. The ASL Season 8 champion Flash was hungry for victory. Queen was up against one of the strongest Terran players on the planet and would have to play cautiously against him. Yeah, this is really. Flash shredded Queen's massive mutalists to win the first game of the semifinals. Learning from his mistakes, Queen's swarm of mutalists in game two did a lot more damage to Flash, halting his unit production and mineral line, before finishing off the rest of Flash's infantry map-wide. Flash bounced back in the third as his Valkyries turned Queen's units into mincemeat. But Queen had figured out his opponent, using speed and numbers to his advantage, securing the next two matches for a semifinals victory. Oh, God, I think Flash is going to give up, man. Oh, my God. He is looking very hurt at the moment. So few turrets. He just oh. finishes eBay. Another Valkyrie comes out, slides right into the Mutas, only gets two volleys off, doesn't even finish the second one. The only thing that's really here is this one turret that's popping shots up. That's it, GG! Queen had now cemented himself in this weekend's grand final showdown, preparing to unleash havoc on an opponent he has yet to face this season. KSL season four victor and celebrity in the Brood Wars pro scene, Light. Known for his outstanding Terran versus Zerg win ratio before his retirement. 
Light's more recent achievement was last year's Korean StarCraft League Season 4, where he defeated Protoss Master Rain four games to two in the best of seven grand final to claim the end of year trophy. In the competition's round of 24 group stage, Light advanced out of Group D, only dropping one match to Brain on the map of Escalade. The round of 16 was an all-in Terran versus Terran Group A, where Light fell short against Season 8 champion Flash, two games to zip. However, Light did not drop a game against Terran players Barracks and Mong, which was enough to be seeded into the event's best of five elimination bracket. There's, there's a finite amount of resources on a map. It's how the StarCraft game, no matter how long it goes, gets propelled to an end. Because yeah. you can't just keep making stuff and having the slug fest over and over forever. Um, and so a lot of times, especially in TVT, I'd say more so than any other matchup, um, you want to kind of see how the exchanges went over time to get a good idea of where the game is probably going to end up. In this case, almost all the fights Mong has taken, GG. Light entered the playoffs with great confidence, eliminating Protoss player Stork three games to one by flooding the map with Siege Tanks and Spider Mines. Stork's doing a good job engaging this, though. He's got a good surround over yeah, here. A couple yeah, more yeah. Vultures are coming down. Again, you know, Light has in PvT, or TVP, some of the best defense matrixes ever. He knows where to do it. And GG in a close series. While Light was finishing off Stork for a spot in the semifinals, Zerg player Cho Shim defeated the last remaining Protoss player, Bisu, to earn his matchup against the KSL Season 4 champion. Oh my god! Oh, there's a queen here. I like this. I think, uh, he's probably thinking about using his snare. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't think we're gonna have it, but just in case if he ever damages the Chancellor, he could steal the CC as well, which yeah, is always a big... That's underused, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's actually... There he is. GG. Light slammed Choshim to put his first point on the board, again massing his signature siege tanks. Yeah, they will not, exactly. Choshim bounced back with an army of Ultralisks in game two ensnaring Light's Marines until there was nothing left to do but concede. It was the next two games of the semifinal series that saw Light foil his Zerg opponent, shredding his brood with ground infantry supported by science vessels to secure game three. Then again in game four as he countered Choshim's aerial support, leading to his third and final win of the semifinal series. This goes to show you why this is the best eSport. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It also goes to show you why, you know, why RTS is so entertaining in general. It's like, yeah, you can have stuff like this. The, the Completely absurd the situations, shown, you know? It's like, it's wild. GG. With control of the ground and sky, Light earned his ticket to the event's grand final this weekend, standing tall as one of the most brutal Terran Brood War players in South Korea. In the city of Seoul, it will be champion versus champion, Zerg versus Terran, Queen versus Light. Don't miss a minute of the action on the 26th of April as these two titans fight for glory, fame, and over 20,000 US dollars in prize money courtesy of Africa TV. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing eSport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten eSports.